Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> or whatever sort of thing you're celebrating. If you're celebrating anything this nice holiday season. I originally wanted to make some sort of like nice outdoors climbing video in the snow and just enjoying that crisp winter here in Sweden. But we haven't really gotten there yet. Um, actually, it seems like we're not gonna, we're just gonna skip winter here in Stockholm this year. Um, so instead we're gonna try to do something indoors. First off, uh, Cordelia has a project that I've set, well, pretty much for her. Um, and then we're just gonna run around and try some funky stuff that I've uh, been setting lately. Um, so yeah, let's get around to it. Let, let's take a quick look at your, uh, your nice thing on the... <laughs> okay, so this is what we're gonna look at climbing today. Do you have a name for it? A name for what? This one? Yeah. Oh no, I would have... Mm. Maybe Rudolph? Isn't it too Touché? obvious? Yeah. Right, tell us about your boulder. Rudolfo. Rudolfo. <laughs> Please. No, so it's with these holes. The yellow one. Uh, I thought it was crimpy, but it wasn't that crimpy. So it suits me perfectly. And I have tried some moves. I did the last sequence just to actually check that I could climb on this boulder because that's the only part that is a bit mm. crimpy. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, I have still a lot of moves that are undone. Undone for me, at least. Yeah. <laughs> I think other people did it. And uh, I'm psyched because it's quite hard and I haven't been climbing um, that hard for quite a while. Mm. So that makes me really happy. Right. Especially if I do it, but even if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So should we yeah, jump crush on it? it? Crush it. Oh. I want to optimize that part a bit. Yeah. But uh, yeah, just because I feel like I was always like pulling, huh? Uh, he's giving me, me like signs, directions, New directions, right. and I really don't get them. But anyway, I'm in the right spot. Perfect. I, perfect. No, but it felt a bit like um, how do you say drag it? Like you had to pull a lot. More I pulled than a lot, like more than I actually needed. If I just maybe place my foot well and know how the next move feels and so okay. on. Mm. But I'm impressed I could hold this thing. I guess it's because of the angle. That I could hold much better than I thought. Yeah, let's take a quick. Oh. I think I got it here. Or here maybe. Yeah. yeah, and here you can almost pinch it a bit, which is really nice. As well as here. Um, I think I'm skipping this one. I put that for you. Yeah, sorry. You're too tall. <laughs> I'm too tall. Okay. No, I just feel I prefer like um, being a bit more reached out than maybe losing my feet. Mm. That's really bad thing for a climber, I guess, <laughs> because it has just to do with technique. <laughs> but you should I do it from start again? You should do it from the start. Okay. Try one more time, and then we'll work out the moves. Okay. Climbing it, I was like, okay, yeah, I have to change this a bit. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, I have to do this another way. <laughs> so I wasn't expecting to go all the way up. Oh my god. We could get you tired by jumping on the dinos now. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, these ones. And you go all the way up there. I guess with the right hand. Yep. 
and then maybe you swing over and, and like hit the box or that hole, or maybe just tank. And this one, these are like things, um, I don't get it because you have to pull yourself inwards and then I feel like when you let it go, then you just fly up. <laughs> yeah. But here, you should get all the way up there. Mm. And there's, the, there's another one that, which is crazy, but I won't do. But Amy will show us, I guess. Mm. I'll just jump without taking it first. Try taking it instead. It makes it much easier to um, hold it. <laughs> He's smart. Oh, that's good. Okay. Try uh, letting the left hand go. Yeah, I thought about that. I almost wish I couldn't even touch that one yeah. with keeping my hand in because then it would be more natural. Now I feel like, oh, maybe I can hold that. <laughs> no, that was close. That was quite close. I want to get it more in the center though. Yeah. Oh, it's so frustrating that it feels so hard. I can't reach it. It's not that big of a jump. So it's very cordy friendly. But I have to say the other one is really much my style. I mean, the hardest boulder I've climbed was exactly on this part of the wall with like toe hooks, heel hooks and this arete. Mm. So I think it's like a style that suits me very well. Um, but... Uh, yeah. Okay. Get it. <laughs> Do I even leave? Uh, not the really. <laughs> no, you, you sort of keep it there. Oh no! no. Oh. That was close. That was close. So. So I've been jumping back and forth, and then chilling, and then I'll try again. If it doesn't work, I uh, will go and have a cup of coffee. Mm. <laughs> try again. So, as you could hear, I had really good power <laughs> going on. <laughs> so, I'll try again. And I'll try to aim for the hole, not for the wall. Mm, that's a good approach, I've heard. I think, I think it might work. If I like punch my hand two more times, then, maybe then I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> One more time is still like, oh, I'm clumsy, whatever. <laughs> but, but yeah, <laughs> so I'll put a limit on, on my cl clumsiness. Hey. I got that. Do you have to beep, like put a beep sound on when I I said, say bad words in English, in Swedish? Yeah. Well, you didn't. Well, no, not at all. I'll keep them. I'll, I'll just yell strange Swedish mm. words. Yeah. Okay. Pretty panna! Okay. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I had a guess behind the camera that you would say from <laughs> Nisa. That can be nice. Yeah. We'll see what the next one is. <laughs> oh, no! <you're> stuck. <laughs> but they sound really good. They sound like aggressive. Yeah. It, it really sounds. They actually like... kind of work like swear word, like curse words. Yeah. Come in. Yes. No. <laughs> Okay. That felt nice though. Now I get why people like dinos. Come here. <gasps> yeah! You no! never come here! Ah! I really want to send this sometime, but since it might take me around like a whole day. Yeah. I think we might just jump on something that is yeah. more fun to see <laughs> and then, yeah. <laughs> I can showcase some of the other dinos. Okay. Could you please give us some sanding? <laughs> <laughs> I will try. I gotta, I'm a little bit, I've been, I have been climbing a little bit, warming up, warming down, warming up again. Um, but I'll run through the dinos. I'll start off with a slightly, slightly easier one, but it's like a bicep -y kind of undercling dino. That's, uh, yeah, you don't see them every day and they're quite fun. <laughs> oh my 
now you make it. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, no, it's just... I what? You, you're, you're born to jump, kind of. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe I'm just like really born to get, like keep my feet on the ground. Yeah. But that looked very nice. Thank you, thank you. I'll hop on the... So this um, other one, this next one. It's actually inspired by uh, one that I had in a video reel. It was a few seconds last year. Um, it's it's a bowler called called Jafes Connection Airline, and I created a somewhat similar bowler, actually by accident, um, which is maybe slightly slightly harder. Like it's less of a jump on this one, but uh, it's a steeper angle, and the the thing you catch is a little bit more difficult to hold. Um, but it's yeah, it's quite similar. So okay. All right, let's try it. Woo! Nice. Woo. It's weird because it's like that compression. It's super unnatural because it's so tight. Yeah. And you're pretty much just pulling on slow first to like <clears throat> nudge yourself back into the wall. Okay, those are the dinos. I think Cordelia will give another attempt on the one. Will I? Yeah, but I think you should rest for a little while. I'm sure you're... I, I so I've cut out most of her attempts in the video. <laughs> the vast majority. So just imagine how many goes she actually went for. I mean, it's impressive the tenacity she has, right? So I, I was thinking we could figure, finish on some of the... Of the boulders that Thor would describe as five-star masterpieces instant classics i've set two of them that just have ridiculous finishes which i think is always fun to set uh i can start off on on this one and then maybe you can do the one that i set last week yeah so essentially a big thing for me when setting stuff that's on the i don't want to say the lower range but lower than sevens um where I, I kind of want to challenge just your creative thinking a little bit as a climber when I set those grades as often as I can. Um, and this is another example of it because the finishing is from like a terrible hold and you sort of, the big thing is to just figure out how to grab it. Um, so yeah, Let's see how it works. Whoa. So this is where it gets tricky, because I have this little thing, which you can't really do anything from. And this is the top hole. So, first the climber into this, trying to figure out how to actually match it. And the version that I could figure out was locking your body in like this, lay backing on the jug, into it, and then it's quite comfortable. You can also do it. How did you record? With something like this, right? Yeah, I did it like that and then to hook. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is a little bit harder, but also works. And that's the kind of strange creative setting, well, that nobody else than me wants to see. But um, I think we're going to showcase one more of those that Cordelius is going to climb, that has a pretty nifty finish. You wanna hop on it? Yes. Yeah, there's like a lot of holes and a lot of... So it, start he it starts here and it finishes down here. <laughs> but to get down here, you have to go like all the way around and then like that. Yeah. Um, and it's a bit tricky, but I'll, I'll try it. You'll it's figure it out. It's not as tricky as that time. <laughs> okay. Yep. 
Yeah. Is that not the the best boulder ever? No, drop that is. I, I love these kind of boulders. Drop us a comment. Is this the best boulder that's ever been set anywhere, or is it the worst boulder that's ever been set anywhere? Don't give them that option. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really enjoy this type of climbing as well. Mm. Um, I saw some like uh, trad bouldering. No, you can't say trad bouldering. Crack bouldering. Mm. Uh, which was like getting your full, like your whole body stuck. Oh, the one that trying. I showed you of the white boys. Yeah, yeah it was so, so fun, and I just yeah, realized, like, what am I doing with my life? That's <laughs> what I have to find. That's what I want to do. So I really enjoyed yeah. all of these kind of stuff that are like weird and strange. Mm. It wasn't so much of a Christmas special since we pretty much just had a session and you know enjoyed ourselves. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the episode nonetheless. Uh, it got some festive music in it, anyways. So let's get back to the important question of the day. We have four different options of Swedish words that could be used as curse words if you don't know what they actually mean. And I want to know which one is the absolute worst one, which is one, the one that you're kind of like, whoa, damn, dude, I don't want to hear that I don't know, from a guy in a, at a pub or something. Uh, so is it rumpnisse? Smörkniv? Pyttipanna? Or kastrull? Which one is the worst? Let us know in the comments below. Um, love to hear your thoughts about that <laughs> and uh, happy holidays like the video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i'll see you in the next one peace Bye.